my name is Gwyneth Lynch. I'm a trained painter and I draw on my empty paper coffee cups. I've saved my cups for three or four years and so also artist friends have contributed their cups and each one is a social moment so that's important to me. It's not just trash but I write on the bottom uh, you know, Gwyneth in the flat iron with Cheryl and it says a particular date January 11th, 2012. And I will work on a white cup, a Starbucks cup, any kind of a cup. I do like to do Lucky Dip, their coffee stain, that suggests possibilities. Here's your Starbucks heart cup. And I like to make these logos disappear because our world is so branded, so consumer oriented that, uh, for instance, on a cup like this, it's a Starbucks cup, but I've actually made the logo disappear. So you can't see that. And that's kind of a, a challenge for me to see how I can change the, change the surface. That's a Pret-a-Manger cup with another, another logo. I knew when I came to Flatiron in this very public location that a lot of people would see it. But I really hadn't considered how far it could reach just with the advent of smartphones. Now everybody is a photographer. So there are people out there with huge long lenses and people with little pocket cameras and more and more people just with the cell phone. And with the cell phone, they take an image, put on a filter, a couple of text words and load it up to the internet while they're standing on the sidewalk. So you have this instant feedback, this instant communication and spread of ideas. And it's very, very exciting. So to that end, a group of students in Singapore have started a project based on this called Paint a Miracle. And it's an eco art, paint your coffee cup upcycling project in a, in, a, in a Starbucks store on their University of Singapore campus. And they're inviting all their friends in and everybody to do the same kind of idea in the windows. And they acknowledge me as their mentor, their guide, their guru. And one part I'd like them to take away is the idea about upcycling. So I'm dealing with something that people regard as trash. So the ubiquitous paper coffee cup, uh, people love it when they have it full of a hot drink. They feel very attached and affectionate. As soon as the cup is empty, it's trash to throw it away. And yet, the cup is really a beautifully designed object, and it's sturdy, lightweight and sturdy, and I, I find them really wonderful. And I love the surface. I love this toothy kind of surface that's really great to draw on. So, what I'm doing with the cups is I'm upcycling them. They're not trash to me. I'm turning them into art objects, which the art gallery sells. So I want people who come in here to think about that, not just with a cup, perhaps, but what else in their life could they turn into art? What else could they upcycle that they would otherwise throw away or disregard?